हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज आई विल सॉल्व प्रीवियस गेट क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू पावर टॉनिक्स सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 22 व्हिच केम इन गेट 2016 सेट 6 ओके सो व्हाट वी हैव गॉट अ बग कन्वर्टर व्हिच इज वर्किंग इन अ स्टडी स्टेट द आउटपुट वोल्टेज एंड द इंडक्टर करंट कैन बी अज्यूम्ड टू बी रिपल फ्री सो दिस इज आउटपुट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द रेजिस्टर एंड इंडक्टर करंट इज फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस and figure b uh, shows the inductor voltage vl during a complete switching interval so we have got one on interval and one off interval assuming all devices are ideal the duty cycle of the buck converter is so we have to find the duty cycle of the buck converter so to solve this question uh, we must know what is the inductor voltage during on and off interval uh, so let us see mm. so oh, this is a buck converter it has one switch s so switch m is s it has a diode a inductor a capacitor and a load so this is your output voltage and this is input voltage this is inductor voltage so when switch is on so this time interval is t on so when switch is on the input voltage will come across the diode and it will reverse bias it so for t on period your equivalent circuit will look something like this your switch will be on your diode is off you have a inductor capacitor and a resistor so if you apply kvl here you can actually write minus vg plus bl plus v not is equal to 0 so vl is equal to vg minus v not when switch is on so this voltage is given as 30 volt or you can write vg minus v not is equal to 30 volt similarly you have to find what is the voltage across inductor during t off t off means your switch is in off condition so when switch is off so in on period we have got some inductor current so inductor inductor current uh, should flow continuously uh, it cannot be it cannot become zero instantaneously so it will forward by so diode so inductor current will flow something like this so this is vl this is v not this vg and it is a short so if you apply kvl here you can actually write plus vn plus v not is equal to 0 so v l is equal to minus v not so if you see in figure b uh, your voltage across inductor during t off is minus 20 volt so v l is equal to minus v not is equal to minus 20 volt so this is equation number 2 so solving this equation and v not is equal to minus 20 volt this equation number 2 we can actually get what is vg and what is v not so from here v not is 20 volt and if you put in this equation 
bg you will get 50 volt so question is asking for duty cycle so for a buck converter operating in continuous conduction mode so v naught is equal to duty cycle multiplied by vg so d is v naught by vg or you can write 20 by 50 which comes to be 0 0.4 so answer is d is equal to 0 0.4 so uh, here is question number 23 uh, this came in gate 2016 set 6 okay so a steady state dc uh, so a steady uh, dc current of 100 amp is flowing through a power module as shown in figure a so this is a power module so it comprises of one switch and one diode so the VI characteristic of the IGBT which is S and the diode D are shown in figure B and C. So we have got switching characteristic of IGBT and diode. So the conduction power loss in the power module is. So it is asking for what is the conduction loss when a 100 amp current will flow in this direction. So you know that uh, your IGBT is unidirectional. It means that current can flow only in one direction so you can see we have got one symbol here so current from the IGBT can flow like this only uh, but you can see that your 100 amp current is uh, flowing from let's say A to B so the only path it has is through the diode so uh, the diode will conduct when 100 amp current will flow in the power module from A to B so your diode will conduct and IGBT will remain in off state. So we have got a piecewise linear model of diode. So let's say some current is flowing through I through the diode, let's say I. So what will be the voltage across the diode? So VD will be uh, this voltage which is 0.7 plus so you have got slope of this line which is 0, 0.0 uh, so we have got inverse of the slope of this line dv by di so so to get this portion of the voltage it will be dv by di into i so you can easily drive this using uh, straight line equation so uh, we have got dv by di as 0 0.01 so let's say this is diode cathode terminal a and this is anode terminal B. So equivalent model of the diode will be you have one drop of 0.7 volt and you will have one resistance whose value is inverse of the slope. So if you pass a current I of 100 amps like this so you can write uh, power loss so as this current is flowing into the voltage source plus polarity so you have power loss 0.7 into i plus the power loss in the resistor of 0 0.01 ohm value so it will be i square into 0 0.01 0.7 into i plus i square into 0 0.01 so if you plug i as 100 here in this equation you will get so upon solving this 
you will get P loss as 70 plus 100, 170 watt. So this is the answer for this question. So please like my Facebook page Triple E Helper. I will post this video on this page. If you want, you can share with your friends. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And uh, if you have any doubt or query, you can either mail me or you can write in comment section of this video.